Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the teams that North America are sending to the RLCS Major in Copenhagen at the end of the month. And we're going to try and figure out whether or not those teams that are going to the Major are actually the top four teams in the region um, or did one of the top four miss out due to bad bracket luck. Uh, now, a lot of you are already going to know who we're talking about here because it has been quite a hot topic in the Rocket League community uh, since the conclusion of the third regional uh, for the split. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, the team that we're talking about is Space Station Gaming, uh, who finished fifth equal alongside Dignitas, MAT, and TSM. They all finished with 18 points. Um, and we're going to be comparing uh, Space Station's split to OG and Luminosity, who did qualify. And even before these four points were added, that's the minimum you get at the major. Um, OG got 21 in the split, and Luminosity got 24, which obviously uh, no tiebreakers needed, no, no uh, uh, confusion there. They just qualified. Uh, based on the points that they accumulated in the open qualifiers uh, for this split. Uh, but before I get into the information, uh, you know, about the uh, Space Station OG and Luminos, before we really start comparing the splits that these teams have had, I want to make it very clear that the purpose of this video is not to make you think any worse of OG and Luminosity. This uh, video is uh, highlighting what I think could be um, a small problem with the format, uh, which would uh, actually cost nothing to fix. There could be uh, some small tweaks here and there to prevent this situation from happening. And I promise you that if LG or OG were the team with a, a really difficult run in Space Station's uh, spot, I'd be making the same argument for them. Um, yeah, we're talking about a format issue here, not trying to undermine uh, OG or LG and how strong they are. Because actually, based on current form, OG look like the team closest to Gen G and G2. They started off the split horrendously, um, but they improved throughout the split, and now they look like the team who are uh, contending quite uh, quite well with the top two. So, the you know, current form is not how you uh, choose who qualifies. It is supposed to be consistency throughout the split that determines who goes to the major. But hey, OG, are they're playing their best Rocket League right now, so they look like a good team uh, for the major. And LG throughout the split were... Uh, definitely uh, a top four team. Um, you know, from open qualifier one all the way to three, they they do, they do look like a top four team um, in the region. So they they absolutely deserve it. Like I want to make that crystal clear. These teams are uh, you know uh, they're good teams. LG absolutely deserve a top four based on how they performed throughout the split. And OG are peaking right now. So I think they're going to do uh, really well. I'm excited to see these teams play. Um, but that being said, let's take a look at Space Station Gaming's run because although these teams. Um, have done well to qualify. Uh, you know, the regain from OG is really inspirational. It's incredible that what they've done actually throughout the split to turn their split around, losing the first five series of the split and then somehow qualifying. I mean, amazing stuff to come back from that from three veterans of the game. Can't wait to see them play. Uh, but yeah, the Space Station definitely got a bit hard done by here. And the, I think the format... Um, yeah, did them a bit dirty. But yeah, before we get into the details, let's look at Hawkser, uh, Space Station Gaming's Hawkser. Uh, tweet, he tweeted about the... Uh, event um, that, that just concluded. He said, got dealt a few bad hands, but ultimately we have to win at least one of those series. I simply wasn't playing good enough to beat the top teams this split. Sorry, everyone. So, you know, he's taking it on the chin. Uh, true competitor, uh, Hawkser, you know, not, uh, not no, no complaints. And, you know, from uh, their POV, they could, they could have done more. So they know uh, that this is somewhat in their control. It's not completely the format to blame. They had their chances. They didn't take them. Uh, so good tweet there by Hawkser uh, to, to uh, you know, look forward to the next split. Uh, but yeah, Chicago, uh, he's got a banger uh, tweet about this. He says, playing, this is before, obviously, the last quarter final against Gen G. He says, playing against Gen G again tomorrow, who would have guessed? <laughs> and then after losing that quarter final, he tweets, my team, coach, SSG, and the fans all deserve better from me. In that last series, I needed to be better. No excuses. Sorry for split one. So again, you know, these guys are not... Uh, I, I think they're, they're taking it very well. They're, they're taking it very professionally. Uh, so, you know, good luck to them in the next split. Um, uh, and yeah, some pretty good reactions there, I would say, to the misfortune and indeed to the failure to qualify. Uh, okay, let, let's compare the runs. Because like I said, based on the points, it's very clear that OG and LG finished ahead. So in this format, they do deserve to be the major teams. Uh, they have uh, uh, outperformed in the format and with the matches they've been given. Um, but yeah, I've got a tweet uh, that highlights some interesting stats. So actually, I've got a few great tweets here, first of all. Uh, yeah, another a, a pinned tweet. You should all check out the nextrank.com link in bio if you want uh, yeah, videos about how to improve in Rock League by myself and apparently Jack. Great tweet there by me. Uh, oh yeah, that, that, uh, yeah, definitely check out that announcement video. 
um, on the Rocket League Esports uh, Twitter as well. Shout out to Stumpy and Cole. And I think Doomsie as well for heading that one up. Fantastic stuff, man. I'm just re retweeting a bunch of banger content here. Chalkcast, we're going to Korea, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Check out the uh, recent podcast we've done if you want to hear more about that. Uh, Chalkcast Content Bootcamp. Uh, but here we go. This is the tweet I actually wanted to get to. Um, uh, I, I've pointed out that if someone didn't watch any of the split and you only saw these stats, you would probably think that SSG made top four. So let's look at the, take a look at the game win percentage for uh, OG, LG, and SSG versus uh, G2 and Gen G. Uh, OG, 28.5% game wins. LG, 267 Sorry for the weird crop here. This uh, hopefully makes sense to you. And SSG, 25 So they've all got a very bad win rate, game win rate versus, uh, versus G, G, Gen G and G2. All very similarly bad win rate, but yes, SSG, marginally worse. Um, in that regard, their series versus each other, um, OG won two and lost one, SSG went one and one, LG went one and two, uh, they, uh, SSG lost to OG, beat LG, and LG and OG traded, so OG come out on top in that one, uh, well, I guess they got two, two stats are on top in an SSG and LG both have ones at the bottom, but this is where it gets interesting, SSG went undefeated against every other team in the competition, every other team in the region, they went 8-0, and they did not lose a series against anyone not named Gen GG2 and OG in the third regional one time. They beat everyone else. Meanwhile, OG, uh, LG went 10 wins, 4 losses. OG went 7 wins, 3 losses against the rest of the field. That's not LAN teams, just uh, the rest of the competition. SSG, clearly the best team against the rest of the competition. Uh, also got another interesting stat here to show you guys. This is from Direct, the RLCS statistician. Shout out Direct for this one. He says, Space Station split was the fourth hardest strength of schedule of any North American split. This is in history, by the way. Um, and it was the hardest of any that was using the Swiss format, not including teams that only played one regional within a split. So weirdly... The three hardest strength of schedules for split for Swiss splits were all this split. Uh, it was SSG, um, second hardest was Omelette, and third hardest was Gen G, who did qualify. So good stuff, Gen G, uh, qualifying with a very uh, uh, difficult strength of schedule. But what this means basically is how well are the teams that you are playing performing? If the teams that you're playing against are winning a lot of their games, your opponent's win percentage will be higher, and that is a tougher strength of schedule. Uh, so Space Station have just finished this split with the hardest... Uh, strength of schedule ever in North American Swiss history. Uh, we've used Swiss in fall splits previously. So they not only has their strength of schedule been the hardest, but they're also undefeated against everyone outside of the top two and one series against OG, which uh, for me is a very you know solid, strong performance. Um, but taking a closer look at why that those impressive results did not lead to a uh, major qualification for them, you'll notice in event one, they lost to G2 in uh, Swiss, and uh, then they lost to Gen G in the bracket. Event two, they lost to uh, G2 in Swiss, and they lost to Gen G in the bracket. And then event three, this is where they take a bit more of the blame. They lost to G2 in Swiss again, but then they got swept by OG. OG played a, a really good third event here, so that's definitely uh, the one that stands out against Space Station's uh, case. They could have beaten OG here and taken it back in their own control. Um, but yet yeah, again, they match up with Gen G in quarterfinals. So they lost to G G2 and Gen G six times combined across all three events and only one other loss on the record. Compare that to uh, event one LG, they're, they're losing to uh, G2, okay, they also lost to G2, but they got swept by Dignitas, and then I think they lost to G2 in the bracket, so not the uh, worst uh, strength of schedule there for LG, but OG lost to Dignitas as well, and Pirates on a Boat, and then in the second event, you've got LG losing to uh, Space Station, actually, the, the, so Space Station got the head-to-head -head there, they also lost to NRG, um, and then uh, they got the lucky Mickey side of the bracket here against NRG and OG to make the final. OG, meanwhile, lost to X, uh, deleted XD before starting to turn their split around. And in the third event, uh, the, the yes, uh, Luminosity Boys lost to Dignitas again. They also lost to Omelette and uh, OG lost to Matey. So, I mean, there's lots of losses for OG and LG against other teams that Space Station are not losing against at all. And that's uh, definitely a bit unlucky for SSG. They also got trolled by M80 twice. M80 beating Gen G in Swiss reduced uh, Gen G's record to the point where uh, they are matching up against Space Station uh, in both events. M80, uh, first event and second, M80 beat Gen G, and that's what caused 
Genji to match up against Space Station. So yeah, Swiss M80 uh, kind of trolled Space Station as well um, it, throughout this this split. There's no there's no doubt about it. Um, but you know, like I, I did also reply to my own tweet here saying, of course, stats don't tell a full story. LG and OG took their chances, and SSG did not. Uh, but there's no denying LG and OG were given far easier runs by the format. And I guess my uh, thing that I'm a bit sad about when it comes to this split is that we didn't get to see SSG versus either of those teams. We didn't get to see SSG versus anyone else in the playoffs. It was it was Genji every time. Uh, Genji, you know, because Genji lost to M80, they, they matched up against SSG in both events. And uh, I think event two is probably the most glaring example of, of this where yeah Gen G lose to M80 match up against SSG who only lost to G2 the eventual winners of this event so you've only lost to the winners and you match up against the, the second best team in the region very unlucky meanwhile you've got uh, LG and OG both finishing below you in Swiss with losses against XD and NRG so definitely Space Station have outperformed LG and OG in the Swiss stage only to be handed Gen G instead of NRG or playoffs M80 who are not as good as Swiss M80 as we all now know so yeah, it, it just doesn't look uh, very fair when you put it in that uh, perspective, does it? You know, finish if Space Station uh, intelligently finished 7th or 6th, they would have had a much better chance of making Major. Instead, they foolishly finished 5th place by beating Pirates in a boat. They should have lost this game 5, and they would have uh, would have had a nice little 6th uh, or 7th seed there for themselves. Uh, <laughs> or would have had a chance of getting one, maybe. Maybe not. Their game-win loss uh, did take a bit of a hit, but... You know, obviously that's that's silly to think about uh, losing for seeding, as we all know. And uh, yeah, all in all, very unlucky. There's also another point here in Regional 3. Had they won against Ignitas 3-2 instead of 3-1, they would have been last seed in Swiss for them, which would have been TSM on the other side of their quarterfinal instead of Gen G for finishing 7th. So again, they're just not being rewarded for finishing ahead um, of uh, M80 here. Uh, and yeah, LG and OG, their main rivals, get each other in the quarters, which means more points going to one of their biggest rivals, and it happened to be OG, which is the worst case scenario. So yeah, everything, all the stars align to just, uh, you know, ruin Space Station chances in this split. And I guess we won't, ever, we, we won't know. Are they better than uh lg or og well we don't know because they didn't play them in bracket but what we do know is that lg and og didn't beat gen g or g2 either so anyone who's saying you know uh if space for space station to make uh copenhagen for them to deserve copenhagen you gotta beat g2 that is nonsense because lg and og didn't beat g2 anyone who's saying they've got to beat gen g in bracket or else they don't deserve copenhagen well i mean og and lg didn't beat gen g in bracket either <laughs> in fact they didn't uh, they didn't come close to beating them in bracket uh, G2 beat Luminosity 4-1 in the first event. They beat them 4-1 in the next event. Uh, G at least Space Station took Gen G to, to Game 6. And in fact, they were over time in Game 5 here. They were almost ahead in the series. So that's probably the closest anyone played uh, Gen G or OG throughout the split. Uh, except shout out OG as well. They did go overtime. Uh, you know, that could have been overtime for a tie series. So those are the two cases uh, where, where anyone took G2 or Gen G to, uh, to Game 6. Um, but yeah, you've got to put, you've got to hold teams in the same kind of, you've got to, it's got to be a fair conversation here. Um, the bracket was not fair. Uh, it was, it was, it was unlucky. And if LG were, were the team in this bracket of death, all their fans would be complaining about it. Cause I know they've got a very passionate fan base. Uh, and, uh, they hundred percent wouldn't have been too happy with that if they just got dealt a hand, uh, that's more difficult, even when you outperform your direct rivals in Swiss multiple times. Uh, but okay. The, the, like I said, the problem here, the, the point of making this video is to suggest a solution. And a lot of you already know what the solution for me is going to be. It's the Salt Mine 3 playoff format. Round of applause for the Salt Mine 3 playoff format. What a format. It's, it's honestly just miles better than single elimination for finding out who the top four and the top two teams are because you get more matches between rival teams instead of everybody just being chucked in a quarterfinal and let's see who got the luck of the draw. Um, with the AFL playoff format, that's what this is, Australian Football League format, the top four seeds go into a double elimination, an upper bracket uh, semi-final, uh, double elimination style, and the next four seeds go into the lower bracket round one. Uh, then, of course, the losers play the winners here. Uh, losers of the upper play the winner, winners of the lower to establish who the four players are that will, four teams in, uh, in uh, RLCS case who make the final four. And at that point, it just becomes uh, single elimination. But you've got a nice little... Uh, switch there 
on uh, who's on what side of the bracket here. You can see in Salt Mine, Rawas played Naupo. Naupo beat Rawas. Rawas goes down here. Now that he wins through, he's not against Naupo again. He's on the other side. And what that would do is it would ensure uh, that in events like this, where G2 and Genji are on the same side of the bracket, the loser um, would, would end up on the uh, other side of the bracket coming through. Um, uh, you would you would have had uh, well actually I could show it to you I've, I've I've theory crafted it so let me just show you so let me show you regional one first of all um, this is the uh, the top eight teams in uh, regional one from North America it's coming out of Swiss the the exact eight teams in seeding and I theory crafted who would win every match you guys can uh, give your feedback on this but I think Genji would probably beat Meiji in the playoffs Meiji fall off in the playoffs I think Genji probably break their curse there and move on through. Uh, G2 probably beat Dig. That sends Dig down here, and it sends M80 down here. And then SSG would have played Shopify, not Gen G. And I think they probably would have won that. And then they would have played Meiji. I think they probably win that as well, uh, based on Meiji's playoff level. LG would have played Poab. I think they win. Then they would have played Dig. I would guess that they would lose this, because Dig beat LG both times they played. Dig did make a top four in the actual first event. Uh, so did LG. So they're clearly pretty similar in this first event. And uh, Dig have a good matchup against LG. So I'm putting Dig through there. Uh, that this would be the points after the first event. I should mention, by the way, I've added one point to finishing fifth, sixth in this because you, you have a different it's seventh, eighth, fifth, sixth, third, fourth, and then your top two. So yeah, I, I, it's just I think a better format for finding out who the actual top four are, who are the top two, um, and who even is the top one. This is a better format for uh, for top four, top two, and top one. Regional 2, this is what I think would have happened if we used this format. Uh, Gen G would have played G2, G2 would have won that. MG, M80 would have played NRG, actually. And I, I, I think that is probably where M80 would beat their uh, their playoff curse because NRG were even worse in the playoffs <laughs> than M80 were. Uh, so I, I'm going to put M80 through there. And then we've got SSG over POAB. Gen G over SSG, even in this hypothetical format that didn't happen, uh, SSG cannot escape Gen G. Uh, so SSG are going out, unfortunately, here. Then we've got LG versus OG. That is a matchup that happened in the second regional. LG won it, so I'm putting them through. And uh, they also beat NRG, so I'm putting them through that as well. And then they lose to G2 in the uh, semi-final. And Gen G can go final. G2, Gen G, as you can see, even if they match up against each other in this upper bracket, by the time that they get to the final four, uh, Gen G have switched sides of the bracket. So you get uh, Gen G, G2 again. They're now miles ahead. And we've got a three-way tie with LG, Meiti, and SSG on 16 points. Uh, lastly, Regional 3, uh, OG versus Gen G. I'm putting Gen G through there. TSM versus G2. G2 are going through. I'm giving Omelette the edge on uh, M80. Not that it really matters here, but I think Omelette in the third event looked better than M80, who continue to struggle in playoffs, and uh, probably better than TSM as well. Omelette played G2 close, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there on that one. Uh, SSG did beat LG the only time that they played each other in this, uh, in this split, uh, so I'm putting SSG through there. And uh, I'm putting OG over SSG because they did beat SSG in that event. So that's how this would have panned out. And when all when the dust is settled, if we used AFL uh, playoff format, that's if we used AFL uh, bracket here, uh, then Gen G and G2 would have still been one and two. SSG would have been third. And LG and Meiji would have been in a fourth place tie. So we would have had tiebreaker for the major between LG and M80. M80 would have been benefactors of this format because they finished um, in the top uh, of Swiss multiple times guaranteeing them just a, a one one more point even if you finish seventh and they would have had a good matchup against uh, nrg here who also uh, got into the top of swiss by sweeping uh, luminosity uh, in uh, in event two so yeah the big benefactors here would have been ssg and Meiji. og would not have been able to catch up in this uh format because they would have just had too much work to do uh it would have been too too little too late and they wouldn't there wouldn't have been a mickey bracket like we had in regional two, we had all of the, uh, well, we had Genji and G2 both on one side of the bracket and SSG as well. So a bit of a Mickey bracket there to guarantee OG and LG lots more points, which put them in a much better sta uh, uh, standing versus their rivals. So yeah, I guess in, in my the theoretical world, OG would have been the team to lose out because uh, they started off too poorly, would not have been able to catch up against the more consistent uh, uh, performing teams. Um, but even if, they, if this did happen, or even if, even if this did, uh, uh, even if this was the format that we uh, used, the, it's not just it better because SSG would have qualified. It's better because it puts teams together. It puts teams in matchups that are fighting for those uh, major spots. You don't just have to roll a dice and see who dodges G2 and Gen G. 
No, you're actually getting matches like this happening. Uh, you're getting matches like LG SSG in this uh, first round instead of LG versus uh, OG and Space Station against Gen.G for the third time. You're more likely to get uh, the the decision on the pitch rather than on due to the the way that the seeding worked out, uh, which I think is is preferential. And uh, yeah, this would work for other regions as well. It would work better for other regions in two spot regions like Mina, Assam, and OCE, uh, where it often comes down to who dodges the, the big team, who dodges the power, the Furia, the Falcons in the bracket. That's going to be your second best team. Whoever just managed to not be on that side of the bracket and go through the other side of the, to the final. Uh, with this, you're not going to have to worry about that because you've got that switching off sides uh, going into the final four. So even if you do draw the, the super team in this round, you can still win in the other round and get on the other side of the bracket and prove that you are the second best team um, at the end of it all. And I've also thrown in another one here for uh, for SSA and for APAC. This even fixes the sniping, the throwing situation. Limitless, who were second seed in uh, SSA, if the uh, YMC successfully sniped them as third, they wouldn't be eliminating Limitless. They would just be putting them to this uh, part of the bracket and then Limitless could win back in to the top four and still make the final. So you are even de-incentivizing throwing uh, by using this playoff format instead of single elimination. Um, so I, I think it's just better. I think it would fix all of the issues with top fours, top twos, and top ones not being consistent. Um, and it would give us a more fair shout and more fair, more, more uh, uh, I guess, confident knowledge of who the top four really were. Um, instead of us having to speculate because they never played in the playoffs at all. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I know that one of the biggest criticisms of this format uh, that uh, I've heard over the years is that some people don't like that one of the teams finishing uh, on 3-1 in Swiss goes to the lower bracket while the other teams finishing on 3-1 go to the upper bracket portion. Um, I don't personally have too much of a problem with that. Uh, the team who uh, finish 3-1 and go into the lower bit immediately. They do play against the last seed in Swiss, so you should be winning that. And the team who, uh, who the teams here are playing against the teams who went 3-0, so you're in a you know in a tough match immediately. So it might look like a massive difference uh, being upper or lower, but it's actually not as big of a difference as you'd think because you are going into a matchup where you are the underdog or uh, the the heavy favorite. And then uh, after that one win for uh, a fifth seed um, like Space Station Gaming. Um, and a loss for a team like Gen G, fourth seed, you're going to get that match anyway, fourth versus fifth. Uh, just it's going to happen further along in the bracket with an additional point in the bag instead of in the quarterfinal, while LG and OG are just gaining tons of points uh, on the other side of the bracket. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so yeah, not really, I, I, I don't think it's too much of an issue. Uh, I'd, like, I'd still massively prefer that to be the playoff format compared to what we currently have. I think Swiss is great for getting top eight. It's good at figuring out who the top eight teams are on any given weekend, uh, but single elimination is not good at figuring out who the top four are uh, in one weekend and not even across a whole split, apparently, because we just don't know. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, though, good luck to LG and OG. I think that these teams are all very close in my, my own personal power rankings. Um, I would uh, probably put SSG in my top four, but not by much. I think these teams are, are great teams. I'm looking forward to seeing them play the major. Great personalities. And this video is not to make you think any, any less of them. I think that they are going to perform very closely to what SSG would have. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we are speculating at the end of the day when we're putting together these theoretical brackets, aren't we? So uh, yeah, uh, more more of like a suggestion, I guess, of what something I hope will happen. Hopefully they can you know change it up going into the next split. Uh, that would be nice to see the AFL playoff format be used. I think it's just a, a phenomenal playoff format. Hope you guys agree. And uh, yeah, Hopefully next split as well. Final thoughts, SSG. Uh, I hope you don't get as unlucky as you did this time because it was definitely, yeah, definitely a bit unfortunate there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to talk about for today's video, guys. I think SSG uh, may be a top four team, but we'll never know because <laughs> the, the, the format didn't let us find out. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think AFL playoff format would be a better format for the top eight? Uh, do you have any problems with it? The, does it not make sense to you? Um, uh, yeah, was this the way that I visualize it here better than the other ways you've seen online? If you Google it, you're going to see a bracket with lots of lines and some people get confused. But I, I you know, I, Swiss wasn't immediately accepted either. So people used to hate Swiss because it's too confusing and not everybody loves it. So I think AFL playoff format, maybe it would be confusing initially, but I think people would grow to love it very quickly when they see uh, that it just seems more fair uh, in, in distributing top uh, to top one, two, four, six, and eight uh, assignments uh, uh, to teams playing in it. 
Um, yeah, again, best of luck to all the teams of the major. Best of luck to LG and OG. Um, I, I'm excited to see them play. And uh, yeah, don't want this uh, to be a, a knock on them at all. If, if they are on the other side of this, if they are on the other side of this next split, you bet I'll be making another video about it, uh, trying to defend their case as a potential top four team in NA as well. Um, so this, yeah, really would, I think this would benefit every team, this playoff format. It would benefit every team because fair formats are what we want. Uh, so yeah, best of luck to them. And hopefully we can uh, yeah, not have this kind of situation happen uh, to any team, them or the Space Station, LG, OG, or anyone else uh, in in the rest of this season, because we are using the same format as far as I'm aware uh, for for next split as well. But yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, this has probably already gone on long enough, but uh, yeah, you all know me. I love talking about this kind of thing. So if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. If you've got any uh, uh, takes, hot takes, or otherwise on this topic, uh, do you think SSG are a top four team in NA? Do you think they're not? I'd love to hear about it. Uh, but yeah, as always, keep it civil. You know, we don't want to turn this into your team versus my team uh, uh, too much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, let, let's try and keep it about the gameplay, not about uh, personalities as well. Would always be nice. Yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.